Hello, Dr. Mintz here. This is a young woman with abdominal pain. So I'm going to give you a chance to just kind of look over the general perspective of what we have here. Abdominal pain. Okay, see what you see. Okay, now what do we have? First of all, it's always important to look in the adnexa regions. We get our orientation by looking at the uterus. Here's the uterus here, here's the uterine body, and here's the fundus, the top of the uterus. And this is elongated like this because the uterus is normally angled anteriorly sitting above the urinary bladder as it does. So if we go up from the urinary bladder we come into the uterus including the fundus, the body, and down here would be the cervix. So if we go down from the cervix somewhere in there would be this actually there's air here in the vagina. Okay, so that gives you an idea of how the uterus is normally shaped. And actually you can get a little sense of the low attenuation here in the endometrium. So you have the higher attenuation around that. And let's look in the adnexal regions, okay? So we go off to each side, see if we can see an ovary. We'll go up a little higher, still don't really see it. And we've got something here. Maybe this is it on the left side. Small left ovary. Look over in the right ovary. And you've got this round thing. It might look like it's part of the loop of bowel, but it's not. It's a little hemorrhagic ovarian cyst, just a normal part of the cycle to have a cyst like that. And then you can see right here the appendix. Watch that as we go up. And then we follow it down, 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 and you don't really see it all together well. But I think we can tell that that is the appendix. Now remember the rule of, th of thumb for finding the appendix is first find the ileocecal valve. And that's right here. If you look right here, you can kind of see small bowel coming in there, I believe. Yes, you see how small bowel's coming in here? And so this is coming into the cecum. So somewhere off of this area off this area, this is B cecum, so the appendix should connect there somewhere. Maybe it's this something coming off that way. That's kind of heading off here, you see it there. And then over this way until it gets to to this. So it's a little hard to see in some areas, So, the, but the appendix looks okay. I think we have the distal tip of it right around there. Certainly no inflammation around it. And a little ovarian cyst that's small enough that probably not significant. Might have been a little hemorrhage there. Could cause a little discomfort. Now let's look in the cul-de-sac, an area that we look in, look at on ultrasound. And if you look right here, this is a toughie. But here you see rectum. Here there's a little bit of free fluid. Uh, you have bowel here. You have rectum. And if you go down from there, Right around here, there's a little fluid. And then we come into the cervix, and below that, the rectum and vagina. But at this level here, it's nice to be able to pick up small amounts of fluid. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's a little different attenuation than the rest of this, plus the configuration just is typical for fluid. And that's a little difficult. Okay, so nothing really gangbusters going on there. Maybe that right ovarian cyst is causing some pain. But they apparently had a fever as well. And yes, we are in the GU system. So how do those kidneys look? Obstructed? See any hydrocephalus? See any masses? See any, any renal stones? No, how's the renal cortical enhancement? How is the renal cortical enhancement normal? There are inhomogeneous areas 
of decreased enhancement, aren't there? That's it. And that tells you what diagnosis? Pyelonephritis. So here you see an example where you're seeing the cortex enhance normally up to here, then not, and then here it's enhancing. There's no good reason for that. That's abnormal. That's pyelonephritis. And then as you look more and more, you start seeing broad sweeps of cortex that do not enhance normally, like all along here, and here, and here. We'll go up from there, and now you have some good areas of cortical enhancement. This is not quite right. This is a little better. This is abnormal here. Both sides. The effect there in the cortical enhancement. This is abnormal here. See that area and that area? Also this area is abnormal. Okay, this whole area here is abnormal. Let's see if that is any more conspicuous on coronal images. Okay, here we go. Just, all, just barely getting the kidneys in, missing a little bit of the top. Doesn't want to go down. But here you can see nice enhancement, nice enhancement, abnormal, nice, and then broad sweeps of diminished cortical enhancement toward the lower pole especially. And you see it here on the right side as well, you see down there. And you can see a little bit in the upper pole of the right kidney there. Okay, so that is pyelonephritis. And you should be good with all of this vascular anatomy, or certainly getting very good at it. Now take a look at the IVC, you see how the inferior vena cava is not very well opacified, but here it becomes well opacified. What level is this? That's where the renal veins are coming in. Okay, and that's why it enhances here and up before it enhances down below that level. Because the renal vein comes in on each side. The aorta supplies the kidneys and it quickly goes through the kidneys and back to the renal veins very high flow to the kidneys and here's the right renal vein and the left renal vein and so that mixes with this unopacified blood from below and creates that confluence of flow vascular content that's opacified and unopacified from below and that's what gives you that appearance there Do we, can we find the renal arteries? You can pretty much find those in almost every case. Here you can see the right renal artery coming over to the aorta and if we follow it over you can barely make it out here still where that point is. There we go. Going to the right kidney. And then the left renal artery coming over here. Okay here. From here over like that over here, over here, over there. Oop, my mistake. That's not it. I got misled. Here it is, right here. And I'm having a little trouble, as you can see, following it, but I'm just not seeing it well there. So in this case, it's a little hard to see, but you can see its origin, and I think it's just blending in here with what would this be? Renal vein, so it's lying really close to the renal vein. And then looking here, even though you're not seeing it well, here's the aorta. Renal arteries coming off about this level. You see this coming off the front of the aorta. You know that's the SMA, and that's the celiac artery. Even though you don't see them well, there's enough information there to tell you what you're looking at. Okay, so great case of
pyelonephritis.